and this is the first ever barber half dollar I uh, proof barber half dollar I've ever owned. Hey everybody, this is Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we just got this big package of coins from Mint State Metals on Instagram. Um, his name is Vernon. If you guys want to follow him, uh, we have his information in our description. Uh, but we're going to break apart and show you guys all these coins today. A uh, whole slew of stuff. Uh, just so thankful to have uh, people like Vernon to send us coins to sell um, and make coins available for you guys. Uh, if you guys are ever interested in selling anything to us, visit AcousiaCollectibles.com. Uh, we're answering all your questions on there or have them in the comments section below. Anything that works for you. Uh, but stay tuned and enjoy the video. So wow guys, look at these coins, amazing. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have a 1886 OGH, MS64, Blast White, uh, Barber Quarter, uh, Mint State, which is really nice as well. Uh, another thing that sticks out to me is this 1888O. It's a minor, I think it's a minor Scarface variety. Uh, if you guys know what a Scarface is, um, you guys should look it up. I'll post a picture uh, what a Scarface is to my left. And last but not least, got this really cool Barber uh, Proof Half that ended up going AU Details, but got it for a good price. Alrighty guys, just made it up to the light box and like I said, Vernon hooked us up. He's a great guy. Uh, his his at will be right here for you guys to follow him on Instagram. But let's show you guys the first coin. This is the first ever Barber half dollar I uh, proof Barber half dollar I've ever owned. Um, it's a good start. It's a good starter coin. And what we've been talking about lately is find a coin uh, that gets your feet in the water and helps you kind of uh, lay the groundwork for moving into proof, like say proof uh, Barber halves or uh, proof Barbers in general or uh, 1916d mercury dimes um, things that get your feet in the water uh, that you can make a good good uh, purchase on and uh, that's something that you want you want to do good with um, many of the AU uh, proofs MS proofs are selling it like him eleven hundred a thousand dollars even higher than that so it's it's good to uh, you know Start start low and get the right get the right coin and then uh, continue up from there. And sometimes you know it, it could be on different spectrums for you. So say, you know the first uh, barber half that's a, a proof that you run into is an MS62. That might be your starting point if you can afford it and you have the connections for it. You have the well, you can afford it as well. Um, you know that's something that you want to do. And uh, this coin's really nice. I think uh, you know even if it's cleaned, you know I think the mintage was like. You know, in the six to seven hundred range, which is kind of crazy, um, but so fortunate enough to be able to hold this coin in hand, and we're actually shipping this coin out tomorrow. So, um, just an unbelievable specimen. Uh, here is uh, another barber, but this is a business strike, 1892 barber quarter, right? MS61. Um, you can kind of see this metallic gray to it going around the coin. Uh, it's just very dark. And uh, that's kind of why it gives it that MS61. Uh, it just doesn't have the luster to carry it any, any higher than it is. Um, and that's okay. Um, I've only handled a few barber quarters in my day. Um, I actually bought a proof barber quarter. was my ever, my first barber quarter. It was a proof uh, 64 plus cameo. And it was, it was an amazing coin. Ended up finding a wonderful owner for it. It was actually one of my biggest purchases at the time. And... Uh, now we're moving a little bit higher and progressing as we should, but uh, looking back on those days, it was it was a wonderful time for us, uh, especially for barbers. Here's a cool coin that I didn't really expect. Um, this is an 1880-O. Uh, it's a minor variety of, um, uh, what is it called, a Scarface uh, 
van. So um, you guys probably can't see it, and it's probably hard to tell. You think that the Scarface is on there, but it's actually not. It's actually right where you see this dot here, which is pretty interesting. Um, and actually, uh, there, there's different stages of the minor die variety, so th there actually can be four different die cracks um, up, uh, across the obverse. And that's kind of what I figured out today when trying to price this coin. Um, and that's pretty interesting. I don't know, I might, I'm thinking about just keeping this coin if it doesn't sell. Just because, you know, maybe one day I want to build a set of, you know, minor varieties. And maybe uh, the real the real McCall, the Scarface. And if you guys haven't seen uh, the Pawn Stars episode of that, uh, I'll link it down below. Uh, the Scarface uh, coin that came in was, it was pretty unique. And I actually saw one recently that uh, was being sold by like West Oregon Coins, I think, on eBay. Uh, it had like a really nice crescent right here, and then it had like this PCI bullseye toning on the reverse. Probably one of the nicest Scarfaces I've ever seen. Uh, it was great at MS63, but pretty cool. I'm glad I'm able to hold this coin in hand, and let's jump into a few more. So we got a lot of Morgans from Mr. Vernon. Uh, we got this 1886 Morgan Dollar, 100% blast white, uh, just a stunning example. And for many of these coins a year ago, you know, they, they, they were selling about half of what they are now. You know, many people are trying to get $150 for this type of stuff. I've seen a, even a few YouTubers on their website ask $150. Um, for me, I just sell them, you know, about $90, $75, $80. Um, Stuff like that when I, when I can get these coins in just because uh, I know that, you know, if, we're, if I'm going to ask full price guide for stuff and they're not selling for full price guide, I'll end up never selling the coin, which sucks. But these coins are pretty nice. A lot of them are blast white, uh, really stunning examples. Um, the 1880p right here is a little bit of a tougher date, which I uh, realized when I'm looking these up. And so what, what I have to say to you guys is when you look up coins and you start to, when you buy them actually, so sometimes someone says, hey, uh, Drew, hey, uh, whoever you are, um, I have a collection that I need to sell. Um, here's everything. Are you going to buy it? Yes or no? And so sometimes that places you in a kind of a predicament where you're looking up and seeing where, you know, where this coin falls on the spectrum of can you afford it? Can you make a profit? Um, what does the what does the seller expect you to pay? And so it really starts to get your mind working. Um, and so what I, what I would say is, if you have like a desk job, there's many fires that you have to handle during the day um, when you're working. But when you own a business, it's kind of the same, but for yourself. So a fire kind of starts in front of you. You have to put it out so you can go to the next fire. And that's kind of what happens with coins. Uh, someone sends you something, say, hey, can I, what do you want for this price? What do you want to buy it for? Um, for me, I it's like, okay, now I have to look it up. Now I have to research. I have to look on eBay, PCGS price guide, gray sheet, um, so, sold comps. I mean, so um, doing your due diligence and, and stuff like that is really good, um, especially when purchasing large collections because you don't want to leave yourself hosed at the end of the day. You want to be able to make some money um, with all the time that you've invested. Uh, this is an 1887 Morgan dollar. Stunning luster on this coin. Uh, it's just, I'm very fortunate enough to have these coins from Vernon. Most of the time when someone sells me coins um, at, a, at a pretty discounted price like he did, um, they're pretty ugly and uh, they're, they're not very uh, nicely toned. Um, so... Uh, you know, we're, when we go back to the blast white, ugly toned, or beautifully toned, um, blast white works all day long with more common dates. And um, for, surprisingly for us, uh, you know, common dates have been flying off the shelf recently. Uh, we got all these in today, uh, posted them, and they all sold out in about half an hour. So uh, the support has been crazy. If you guys are ever interested in any of our coins, go to AkushaCollectibles.com. Uh, these coins will be gone by the time you see this video, but there'll be many, many more uh, up for you guys to take advantage of and uh, purchase for your collection. But love this coin, stunning blast white example. Uh, let me show you guys a few more. So 1890 is a little bit tougher of a date. Uh, we listed, I think, this one for 85 bucks, which is not too bad. 
Uh, I think price guide's like 125 or more for this coin. Um, for me, when I'm pricing a coin, I kind of stick around uh, the auction records, and I even price it below the auction records. So I don't throw up stuff for like, you know, if price guide's $125 and it's selling for $95, I want to be around $85, uh, $90 when I sell a coin because... People are already, already going to include the eBay uh, fee. So if I, you know, sell a coin on eBay for uh, 95 bucks minus 13 percent, uh, you know, they're going to get a coin for 80, around 80 bucks. Um, so for me, you know, I, I do 85 bucks shipped on something like this, and then it ends up selling pretty quickly, end up making some decent money, and you know, I'm not overcharging somebody and getting them in a predicament themselves where they feel like they pay too much. Um, and that's kind of my fault in my business a lot. Um, I think we go through, I, mean, I think we've gone through hundreds of coins this month just shipping them out, sending them. Uh, as soon as we get a coin, we sell it. Um, and so for most of these coins, we don't bleed them out. We uh, take the time to price them correctly so that when someone sees them and needs them for their collection, they purchase it. Uh, I'm not really into waiting a long time uh, to sell something. I would rather... Uh, uh, find a collector for it and then find them more for their collection and so many of these coins when they sold today I wasn't selling them one by one. I was selling them three or four at a time And so that ends up saving me money because I'm paying four or five bucks for shipping instead of paying uh, Three dollars for shipping four dollars for shipping per coin um, So that's a real blessing in itself, and that's something you guys kind of have to practice um, and get yourself accustomed to when you're selling coins uh, online or even when they're in person, you know, you have to be able to price stuff on the fly uh, Be able to answer messages uh, Even in the dead of night sometimes I wake up and I got three or four messages either on uh, the website Facebook Instagram um, and to all those messages. I'm so thankful to have but like I said you have to be ready to answer questions You have to be able to price stuff on the fly uh, You have to be able to grab stuff at coin shows when you know that your customer needs it and it's for the right price. So, uh, beautiful coin. Got about four more of these kind of common dates uh, coins here. 1889 MS62, uh, pretty generic. I think we asked $69 per, per coin of the 62s. Uh, 1884, uh, pretty nice example as well. I thought this one was like a 64 when I saw it, uh, but I ended up just grading 63. And most of these coins, when you see them, have been through a bulk batch. Um, so that means someone got like 400 Morgan dollars together. And they sent them off to NGC to get a generic, you know, for, for me I call it a generic grade. Because someone all day is looking at 400 Morgan dollars or a couple hundred Morgan dollars making an assessment. So, and that's a little bit different from when you send in 10 coins and they're taking their individual time and giving a little bit of more of a perspective per coin um, so uh, you're not you know, you're not testing somebody on 400 Morgan dollars you're testing someone on a half dime or a mercury dime and then a Morgan and then so you're kind of splitting it up for them so they have to test their brain on many fronts but when you're sending in 400 Morgans I think there's sometimes it there there happens to be issues um, just because someone's looking at so many Morgans that they have to make calls that you know if they if they're in a ten coin batch, that wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't really be the case. But um, let me show you guys two uh, coins that I'm not really fans of, but they were a part of the package. This is an 1889 and 1885 Morgan dollars. Um, this one's a 63. I mean, it's just plain as day. 63. You can see just the hits on the face here. Um, you can also see the weak strike. Very weak. Um, a lot of chatter in the fields. Uh, once again, we're going back to the ICG, a um, little bit higher of a grade than I, what I would have given a coin. Um, I just saw a 63 down there that I would say is like a 64, 64 plus, and this coin uh, is just, you know, it's just not that for me. Um, and so when I price these coins, I price them uh, very affordable, you know, very very affordable. I think I uh, price these at like 63 prices, so 79 bucks, 75 bucks, um, just because. I take them down a notch every time I buy them. When I price them out for ICG holders, I price them down. So I price them, you know, if it's a 64 on the holder, I price it at, uh, you know, a 62 uh, level when I when I want to buy it. And I sell it for a 63 when I want to sell it, if that makes sense. So I paid around 60 some bucks for this coin. 
I sold it for 63 price, which is around $80, instead of listing it for like $90 for MS64. So, um, you know, you don't want to have someone get receive a coin and then them say, it's just not very nice. And um, for these coins, like I said, I, you know, that's just my basic rule for these coins. You don't have to do that for yourself. But at the end of the day, it gives me just a little bit more peace of mind because uh, these coins are, you know, in my opinion, uh, not 64 coins. And I, I just don't have much faith in ICG. I'm um, grading these from my personal eye, not from ICG's eye. But, um, and that's kind of what people are, are telling me in the past comment videos uh, with, you know, grading the coin, not the holder. I agree with them. And so what I would say is, you know, look at the coin and if it looks like a 63 especially in this holder I would sell it as a 63 that's just that's just who I am that's just what I do just because I don't want to uh, send somebody up a creek without a paddle and them not be able to uh, get the coin that you know actually is the correct grade so I wouldn't say I'm over ICG as grading um, but I would just say you know use your best judgment with uh, third-party graders that aren't PCGS or NGC that sometimes they're not going to be the most accurate. But let me show you guys one more coin today. We received this uh, coin from Joseph on uh, Facebook. This is a tough date, 1883S, um, graded AU58. Uh, and at first glance on this coin, I mean, it looks like a mint state coin all day long. But when looking at the hairline, um, and there's a little tad of wear on uh, the breast feathers as well. Uh, it really pushes it away from uh, an MS coin. You can kind of see when the light hits this hair, uh, that rubbing. And that's kind of what holds it back. And you can also see the rubbing right above the eyebrow and on the cheek as well. So when, when light passes over that, it's, it's going to be dull. And uh, it's going to be a little bit worn. And then when you also flip it over to uh, the breast feathers, it's not going to be as uh, apparent on the breast feathers in my opinion. Um, but there is still some wear there. Um, nonetheless, probably the nicest AU58 coin I've handled in a while, just because, uh, you know, the luster is, is very nice, details are very nice, and a new owner is going to enjoy this shortly. So, thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Thank you again, Vernon. He is the man. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and uh, let's roll it to the outro. Once again, guys, I'm so thankful for Vernon, uh, Men's State Medals, for helping us out and sending us these coins. If you guys uh, have anything to send us as well or want to just ask us about a few things, just let us know. Uh, we'd be happy to help. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you in the next video.